the best way for you to deal with microaggression as a black woman in whatever circumstance is to understand your power as a black woman. And what I mean by that is you need to know that you need to know what your strengths are. Yeah? What you're bringing of value to that personal organization or whatever it, whatever it is. Yeah? So let's say, for example, I don't know, if it's in a workplace setting, and let's just say you're one or two black women in the office or at the workplace, and then they, you end up um, being on the receiving end of microaggression. If you know you can, if you know the value you are bringing to that company, you can take away that value. I'm not gonna say, oh, report to HR, blah, blah, no, fuck that shit. You know the value you, value you bring. And you've got outside passions that you probably want to work on anyway. So work on those passions, get to that, and guess what? When they lose you, you found you, you're doing what you're doing, they can't replace you. They can't replace you. That's just in the workplace setting. There's different levels to people being micro-aggressive towards you, and I, I get that. But the whole point is understanding your true value and what you really bring and all that stuff there and just play into that position. You see what I'm saying? So one thing I recommend though is if you click the link in the description box below, you'll get access to online courses such as healthcare because I understand that it can take a mental toll on your mental It can take a toll on your mental health basically. You know, so it's about ensuring that your mental strength is strengthened because obviously you can't just quit your job like that or or quit whatever situation you're in just like that. There's levels to it and it's just understanding that. So there's that. And also I mentioned about your your purpose, your passion. You may not even know what your true person, passion is or your purpose is, but if you go to the career and, and uh, business course, and um, that will teach you exactly what your true purpose is, what your true personal mission on earth is, and you'll be able to go on that mission as well. Do you see what I'm saying? But other than that, to do with, uh, African and history um, course, you learn more about your true roots and all that stuff there. When I say your true roots, I'm talking about your true ancestral lineage, yeah? Because when you know, when you know your shit, when you know your real ancestry, your real ancestry DNA, you know where you come from, it don't matter who tries to be microaggressive towards you. you it doesn't fucking matter. Because you know you know what you can bring. That's all I'm saying. Like, look at me getting passionate about this shit. This, I could do like a 20 minute video on this, but I'm not. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it simple. So again, click the link in the description box below. It's to become a member of the Acubulan Trust. So you can get access to those courses and more. So if you've got um, any questions, any topics you'd like for us to discuss in the videos, leave that in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. Also, I just want to add, and I want to emphasize on the fact that when you add value and you know you're adding value to someone else, it's very easy to take away that value from them because they need you, you don't need them. Do you see what I'm saying? You need to give yourself that abundance mindset if it's in the workplace setting, yeah? If the other settings, you're going to have to look at the, the course to do with healthcare to be able to do what you need to do and all that stuff there like there's levels to it and i understand that so yeah